The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric's Family BBQ.com. When was the last time you had really good Texas style barbecue? Eric's Family Barbecue, the way it's supposed to taste. Always delicious, never rushed, and prepared to perfection. Eric's Family Barbecue uses only 100% fresh meat, slowly smoked over mesquite wood until it's juicy and delicious. We all know their brisket is the best, but have you tried their pulled pork, pork ribs, or rib tips? Amazing, and their sides are all house made. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip, you won't be sorry. Go to Eric's Family BBQ. BBQ.com for more information. You hear the words you say sometimes? I mean, who talks like that? Or Brady Wikipedia's you and sees brutal. Columbus, Ohio. And the next thing you know, the least interesting conversation begins between Matt Reif at Stand Up Live and Brady. Because you guys talk about Ohio. You're Ohio people. And what? you're proud of it. Came in and like, he has an Ohio vibe. You know what my favorite part of uh, Ohio <laughs> is? Is that you guys are all proud of it, but the rest of the world sees it for what it is. It's like the way Brady calls himself a six. We'll get into that in a second. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's already laughing about it. Yeah, yeah. It's a Matt, Matt laughed immediately, right? <laughs> oh, come on, man. He's right. from Ohio. He's got all his teeth. That's a solid eight and a half. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, we're going your, bar, come on. your bar is low, my friend. <laughs> low. Oh, I tore a lot. But, <laughs> Randy Moss. It gets low. Only on the road. Randy Moss was talking about Ben Roethlisberger on TV the other day, and he said, uh, being from West Virginia and seeing an Ohio boy and realizing West Virginia and Ohio are exactly the same, and I'm like, finally, someone said it on TV. The borders don't. There's some similarities. It's the no, same. You're no, Kentucky, yeah, West Virginia, crossover. Southern Indiana. Oh, yeah, it's just, just different meth territory. That's exactly. Yeah. I'm, pr- I'm proud to hear somebody admit it, because he's still <laughs> Ohio is God's country, and it is <laughs> not. Are you an Ohio <laughs> State fan? I am. Uh, yeah. Are you? Uh, yeah, my heart. We drop the ball every yeah, yeah, year. Yeah. Every year, we're so close. No, you're not. You're actually not. Uh, you're a what? big. Tw- no, you're, you're you're nowhere near Alabama, hey. Clemson, oh, my, Georgia. Yes, we are. No, you're not. That's why you we're lose to them every there. year. That's why. That's why your conference is always losing to that conference. That's why Ohio State can't get past that. They're very proud of themselves because they're on TV and get talked about a lot. Well, you're this, nowhere this near has the good fun. Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm a Steeler fan. I can sit and admit when my team stinks. Touche. And there's, you know, there's better teams. They didn't stink this year. They're not. Oh, they're they they're, they're ready boys. Yeah. What? They're a B tier college team. What? Whoa. I'm just saying. Our compared to the offense, Alabama is a has plus. been to the finals nine of the last seventeen years. Yeah. They're a dominant team. I'm not taking that away. You're nowhere near. We that. also beat them. Clemson. Is has been, yeah, on an off year. Clemson. Clemson's only <laughs> even been in a conversation the past like four years. They're in Georgia. It's the same conference. You guys have one, and then you play Northwestern and beat them 78 to 5 and feel good about yourselves. Well, they shouldn't be a real college. <laughs> I that? don't disagree with that. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> now, let's get back to ranking Brady. Let's do it. You're a dashing young man. <laughs> Oh, you know, you. he's got, he's got, look at this picture of himself. And I saw, I know. I, I actually have seen the movie you were in with Eric Roberts. Oh my God. Which, uh, I'm some so about sorry. Doctor stalking dude, someone. Dude, it's like the worst movie <laughs> of all. Oh, the Lifetime one. I've done was like, that Lifetime? Dude, I've done like four movies with him. It was, uh, you have? Yeah. This was about so a, you've gotten to know him pretty well. Yeah, he and his, he and his wife love me. I've been trying to get him to introduce me to his daughter forever. Really? He's like, no, I know you too well. Which one is his daughter? Uh, uh, Emma uh, Emma, that's right. Yeah, uh, Emma's she, his daughter. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she's such a good actress. And his sister is Julia, mm-hmm. and you, you would do that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You have no 100%. boundaries. I'm like, yeah. come to Thanksgiving? Are you kidding me? Older women are so much better, man. Yeah, and, we, and, and that's how you are always known. First things like, oh, that's the guy who, people say that when I say your name. Oh, that's the guy, Kate Beckinsale. Uh, I know, and I don't know if you want to talk about that, but I love that that's how I got to know you is when uh, Pete Davidson was dating her, and they went to you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you were very honest and said she's crazy. Uh, Yeah. I mean, we're we're, we're fine. Her and I are are friends. Uh, We're we're all good. We're all square. But it went through a little bumpy area. But yeah, uh, we'll get back to that, too. I've got yeah. a lot to get back to, yeah, okay. but let's do the All Eric right. Roberts stuff, because uh-huh. he's the most fascinating person you've been around. He, that dude's insane and also He intriguing. is insane, yeah. and I can say that with no problem. Yeah. He, yeah. He's he's nuts, but like he's such a talented actor. Oh, yeah. like, I've learned so much working with him. He and his wife love me Is his so insanity much. why he didn't become the biggest actor ever? Because he was on pace to do it, and then something happened, and everybody something thought he was Something happened nuts. on one of the movies. I think just uh, on the set or... Uh, Rumblefish, or I, uh, I don't want to be the one to clarify anything because I don't I don't know it up. for sure. But I mean, it, I mean, it's 
he was huge in what the eighties, yeah, early in yeah. Hollywood eighties. So you can yeah. only imagine. Pulp going of Greenwich on Village there. was like this guy's going to be the biggest star of all time. Oh, Him and course. Mickey Rourke. But you got to think movie. about the invi- yeah. well. I mean, is that Mickey, interesting? Look being how around Mickey Rourke can yeah. ruin your yeah. that, that'll, that'll wreck you if you're yeah. in the, you're in the, the the circumference of Mickey. You're in trouble. Yeah, oh, so it's weird. But he hasn't ruined you yet. No, not yet. No, and no. I'm still waiting for my opportunity to sleep my way into Hollywood. And you're trying, and that I admire. I'm trying because that's the old way. Now women can't do it anymore, but I think guys can. I think you can be on the Oh, yeah, if, yeah. If, yeah. If, if Meryl Streep asked me to go down on her, you guys will never see me again. Are you me? <laughs> the black hole of Meryl Streep, you're saying? The, well, it's, it, it's, would, it would absorb you. It would. <laughs> you see bleaches it actually. It's not black. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I've heard that. Actually. I've heard that. <laughs> You'd be gone. Yeah. Was, who was the one actress who was? Uh, she was jarring her farts. Oh, yeah, that was the, oh, that 90, was the 90 Day Fiance. Fiance. No, there was an actress. There was an actress. Oh, there was? There, uh, so there was, a, there was an actress who was doing the, the candles. That's what it was. Oh, that was uh, oh, uh, Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow. Paltrow yeah. Oh, my God. Who's doing the scent candles. testing? Exactly. Who's smelling? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. not authentic. Yeah, that's not, the guy no, from yeah. Coldplay? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Chris, Chris Martin's like, no, He's mate. Like, no, no good you here. nailed it. That's not it. That's not it. Klaus <laughs> needs more apple. <laughs> He smells something burning. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, that's hair. I get it. Right. <laughs> right. That's a good one. So, yeah. So uh, now I have to ask you to rank us uh, one to ten and be honest because we had a thing earlier this morning. They surveyed men. They surveyed men, and most men said they're sixes. I stand a 5. to 5.9. A ten that? is perfect. Okay. Right? So somebody asked me, goes, all right, what's a ten then? And It's hard to find a ten. That's because it's flawless, mm-hmm. and I can find a flaw in anything. So nines are attainable, tens are not. Brady considers himself a six. I laughed hysterically at that because you have to. You think to it's too l- high or you think it's too low? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I don't Matt. know. Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Phoenix, Matt. man. I don't know. He's 5'7". Automatically, you lose two points for being under 5'9". Well, I mean. Yep. And he's <laughs> overweight. Right? Uh, I know. I this comes from me. I think I'm about a. He's got great abs. Amazing. But just hauling that belly around all day. <laughs> There's honestly. a reason for that. Or a that. huge yeah. hog. You don't know. Uh, that could be too. You I actually know. do know. And no, that's oh, not it. What happens in this office? <laughs> yeah. We are very anything. close. We have a thing called Buddy Check 12 where we check for testicular cancer every 12 minutes. Oh, um, you're on. You're on the clock. Is that why there's a leather couch over there? Yeah. I'm a four. That's the audition. In oh, my, four. I'm a four. I would say I'm a four. Just picture. Visually, four. You look at me from behind, maybe, and yeah, then I turn around. Just a snapshot. Four. He's saying, uh, you know, I said you're short, six, but you're bald. Yeah, you're older. Yeah, a weight it's issue. And the art roast. magazine, three I mean, and a half. Right? Is this even a real study, or you just want to? Well, come no, because most guys stuff. said six, and I'm like, no, there aren't that many sixes in the world. I've been to a convenience store. True. Uh, you've been to Omaha, Nebraska. That's true. If the national average thinks they're a six, that's laughable. So we're going by national average. Because you're like a seven or an eight. National in L.A.? No, just generally. That Don't hurts. you think? Well, no. Why? You want, what? You think you're higher than? What would you rank? I, would, I would go eight point. You're an eight three. I would go eight point three. I'll give you an eight. I think, I'll give you an eight. I think he's on that. Yeah, I think that's about right. You're you're you got the bone structure. You're chiseled. You're in good shape. You're yeah. young. You still got your future ahead of you. You seem to get it. You're well, not a drug addict. I'm, I'm still a comedian, so I'm dead inside. Oh, <laughs> completely messed oh, up. Yeah, but that's yeah. when we get to know you. Then of you're not because for me, you're open to trying things like Meryl Streep and right. stuff like that. Absolutely. You know, that's your, you know. I'd bang Betty White. Even now. Oh, so yeah. you got, that's, oh, 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 I'm sleeping my way to the top no matter what, oh, man. Wow. <laughs> We're both animal lovers, oh, and I'm an animal. God. <laughs> wow. All right, now I'm getting yeah. a sense of what I can say on that's this That's exactly it's right. Great. I love uh, it. Yeah, play along, because it's fun. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, but I, like, like Brady said, a great phrase. He said, I'm a four playing in a nines world. And that's after you get to know him. But I'm just saying on a visual picture, people would swipe on you and go, I'd go out with that guy. Mm-hmm. It's true. You got the face. Oh, it's up to me. Him to too. It. Olive skin, great hair. This guy hides his hair under Andy a Garcia. He looks like Andy uh, Garcia you know, when he oh, tries. Yeah. He's not trying today. No, Brett looks no, terrible. Not for you clowns. I'm but he's not yeah, dressed up or anything. He's got the Harry Brett. Potter scar built yeah. in from uh, Brett is a Slytherin. Six. Love it. Brett is a six. Right? Before you know him, you're looking at me like, there's a six. That's a six. Yeah, because he's a little that, That's what I said. Yeah, I was right. too. Yeah, yeah, too. So, I called, right. yeah. so that six. makes him at least a three or a four. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, here, here's the problem, though. This is why this is why social media has kind of ruined that scale because before TikTok and Instagram and everything, you were only really aware of the hot people in your area. Exactly. Now, if you go on any social media platform, it's just nothing but tens. Yeah. 
everywhere. And there's a yeah. difference between an LA 10 and a Phoenix 10. Very oh, true. I mean, you know, an Instagram I'm an Ohio 10. Yeah. 23. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're, you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's I nuts. Know. The fact that you haven't just uh, exploded or you're not on high blood pressure medicine or you're a meth addict. Oh, of course. I don't know how you got out of there. Well, have uh, you ever done I'm, meth? I'm up this early, aren't I? Yeah, that's true. You're on meth now, <laughs> is what you're saying. Have you, done, have you stumbled into the Ohio meth world? Not meth. No, when I moved to LA, I definitely um, had my fair share of. Cocaine. Tr- of, of, of the yep. trying of things. You're talking, what's the worst one you did? Man, I used to love to do acid. No kidding. And what stopped you? I love it. A couple of bad trips. No kidding. Which is what everybody says yeah. Who, yeah. You know, who was alive yeah. in the 70s. Like, if you do it long enough, eventually yeah. okay, it'll catch <laughs> it up. It will to get you. you. Who got you started on acid? That's an who old person's was the struggle. first person? Um, it was actually a, a college friend of mine. No kidding. Yeah. And it was yeah. always fun. Dude, it was, it was so. There's nothing like the first time, though. When like you actually see like colors, you hear that, kids? Oh. Matt Rife says nothing like the first time you, you try got acid. Everyone try it. This is like a reverse <laughs> dare program. I dare you to do every drug at least one time. I think everyone should try it. Yeah. It's, it's life changing. But there's man. certain ones. There's got to be certain one on your list. You're like, no need to do that one. Heroin? Like crocodile yeah. or something Heroin. like that. Oh, yeah. Crocodile's off because it yeah. burns your skin off. Wait, yeah. wait, hold on. What is this? Crocodile. Crocodile. And the reason they call it that is because when you have a bad one, it starts to crocodile your skin and kill you. No yeah. way. It's, it's an old one now. So now I wouldn't try that. What one. are the benefits of it? Like, what's uh, evidently it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm not a drug guy. I don't know. You find well, yourself eating somebody. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what Brady that's finds himself doing that. No matter if he's on drugs. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> Long enough. Gonna, I'm hungry. Enough. Well, if any listeners have any of that crocodile, bring it to the <laughs> bring it to Stand Up Live Phoenix this weekend. We'll try it in between You're shows. In. Yeah. And see how the second show goes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that'd be fun to see. This is the drug show. Why not? Why not? My acid version. Dude, I, I smoked weed on stage one time, and it was the worst show really? of my life. Oh, I had like seven panic attacks in like 20 minutes. <laughs> You're it, all paranoid. The whole, dude, it was like, I was like 10 minutes into an hour-long set, and all I could think is I was like, I have to figure out a way to like get off stage right yeah. now. I'm like freaking out. And like my friend was hosting, and I, I, I kept staring at him being like, okay, how do I tell the crowd that like I have to go take a crap or something? Yeah. So Did you finish? Back. Dude, I did. It ended oh. up being one of the best shows I've ever had. No kidding. Because, I, well, I tried to continue to do my set like normal like, right. for like 10 minutes, and everyone was like, why are you like, yeah, why what's are you happening? so slow? And eventually I just had to be like, you know what, guys? I'm so sorry. I'm so high. It's messing me <laughs> up. So then like the next like 20 minutes, I just keep talking. I'm like that level of high where you keep talking about how high right. you are. And then like I, I say one joke and everything calms down. There's like a brief moment of silent- silence, and this one black girl in the back tried to whisper to her friend, and everyone heard it. She just goes... <laughs> it echoed through the comedy club, and it was it put me it put me in such a weird position. I had yeah. never been heckled more accurately. No, yeah, no, that's <laughs> like, like, how do I argue with yeah. that? Yeah, he's so white should be your comedy special. Me. Like yeah, it should be named also, that. But I was also so high. I was like, am I like yeah. am, I, am I like having an identity crisis on stage? <laughs> and then and then my friend at the end of the show, he like brings a joint back up to me on stage. He's like, we have to finish the joint now. Oh. Like, Are you crazy? Like I'll do meth before I hit another. <laughs> joint on stage yeah. then he gets the entire crowd to stop chanting stop being white stop <laughs> being white it was like a reverse clan meeting like it was the scariest thing and I, I'm still tripping so hard that's hilarious it's a nightmare where was that this was in Washington D.C. Oh, D.C. this was the yeah. weekend of the um, the big Trump rally right before so this was like the insurrection weekend no oh, it was it was the, 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 the winter fall right before oh, the okay, big okay. Trump rally gotcha there. all right well, that had to be a blast. Oh, yeah. All my family yeah. members were there. It was yeah. Great. <laughs> all of Ohio showed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reunion to the picnic. It was wonderful. <laughs> wore your red hats. It was very nice. Uh, Matt Rice at Stand Up Live tonight and tomorrow. If you want to go standuplive.com, that's where you go. Now, I have to ask you because it's we have not met, and this is what the internet and everyone leads with. How do you meet Kate Beckinsale? Oh, man, I can't really talk about it. You can't? No. Are you sure? Is it legal? Did yeah. you take a payment? It's, it's, That's all it's, I care about. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. Oh, I, I love I every second of that. All right, good. That makes it an even better story. But I'm seeing a girl now, actually. Okay. Is, is she is of she, age? Met her she, the same she way. Is. Okay, she's, good. Uh, she's actually my age, which right. is disgusting. Who's the old? Yeah, I know. That's gross. Who's the oldest woman you've been with? <laughs> she was. Okay. She's and then, older, she was older than my mom. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. This is my family. We get started early, man. Are you? Do you normally go after the older ladies? Yeah, man. No kidding. So it's a maturity thing for me. Really? Yeah. Like, the, the girl I'm dating now is the first girl I've ever dated my own age. And she's like 27, 26? She's 26. Okay. Yeah. The exact same age. She, dude, okay. she's great. She's so Does different. she try to dress older do. and... Not yeah. at all. No. I, Color her hair gray. She, she, like, yeah. every, put, yeah. every time I come over, she puts on black and white movies. Yeah. Yeah. Does she give me like films. hard candies and a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a moon pie in 
a penny whistle, boy. There's a Werther's. She's, she's so sweet, man. Snake, she's, I mean, uh, mash. She, oh, my vaginal mash. Oh, <laughs> somebody had, help me. She had me put in a shower chair. It's kind of kinky. It's great. You put a door on her shower? <laughs> she like... That's fantastic. Her knees started popping when I started hanging out with her. <laughs> she's so different from what I usually go for, man. Yeah. She's uh, she's my own age. She's uh, she's religious. Oh, whoa. which is weird. No, I'm yeah. not like she's like Kanye religious. Like, oh, she's like she's not spiritual. overbear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And she's uh, the religion thing is is a very interesting new thing because I'm I'm not super religious. Right. I mean, we've we've all prayed in relationships yeah. before, obviously, sure. usually for a period. Please get off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Please yeah. God, you get pray, this bitch you're off. You're praying exactly. for a period. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Sometimes. exactly. Usually God, to Jesus. Please but make two her weeks, go home. <laughs> Why won't she leave, dear Jesus? So do you, I'm you pray in this relationship? Yeah, yeah. Together, she, uh, dude. She has made me like actually kind of a little bit spiritual. No it's kidding. Nice what do you believe in? Like what? What is she? Because most people she's are Catholic. Spiritual. Okay, so she's got a religion. Yes. But most spiritual people, like Kanye, doesn't believe in anything other than just him being loud. Yeah, which yeah. is what I'm a big supporter of. Yeah, honestly. me too. <laughs> she she's very like the Bible's real, and I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, are you sure? like, come on, You're like you think know about that ark <laughs> and he he put two of each animal on mm-hmm. there you know what i mean my friend just, eric griffin has a great bit about yeah, that it's like yeah. red, somebody was on there being like red ants <laughs> black <laughs> ants like yeah, how deep does it go yeah, yeah i'm like babe i'm like i'm sure that stuff is a metaphor for how to live our life what about the animals that. that didn't get on like yeah. they were waiting in line there were like four elephants and you're like sorry yeah, like is that what happened to the dinosaurs like i don't <laughs> i don't fully understand right. no room no. Dodo birds. Yeah. What did we you lose know. that day? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, it all seems uh, absurd. No, it's 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 nice. To, it's nice to have that kind of like peacefulness because right. she can kind of put she can put all of her stress into you know prayer and all that. So I, I like the peace that she provides. Right. But there's obviously stipulations. Like she doesn't let me. She doesn't like when I take the Lord's name in vain, which oh. makes sex hard. Obviously, yeah. I, every time <laughs> yeah. I orgasm, I have to be like oh, Morgan Freeman, like just <laughs> just trying to find Think loopholes in it any way I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> People have played God. Yeah, that's a great. Oh, scary. Yeah. I never knew why I said Morgan Freeman till just now. <laughs> that's it. I was just the thought of him. <laughs> he just popped in my head right at that moment. George right, Burns. When, right when I'm making a tummy puddle, I'm like Morgan. Uh, goddamn. Freeman. Now, now, what is Morgan Freeman? Because he has the voice. Yeah, yeah. I, I would give him a nine. Oh, oh, uh, ew, man, ranking Morgan Freeman stuff. You're no, that's because we know him. You're going you, off you of You send a picture of him, and he like looks, match. He, com. Yeah, and yeah. You just, you just and you don't up. know. And yeah. he, my theory, though, is like if Prince was walking around and was never Prince, mm-hmm. if Bruno Mars was walking around and was never Bruno Mars, mm-hmm. four. Yeah. They're short, they're scrawny, they're yeah. little, but until they're... So Morgan Freeman would look probably like you'd think it's a mug shot. Flea from the Red I Hot Chili Peppers. So. You know? Yeah. Or you think it's... I don't know if you know who it is, but Dennis Johnson used to play for the Celtics was a, a black guy with tons of freckles. uh uh-huh. And so I think it would just... Oh, there's Dennis Johnson old now. That's what I would see as Morgan Freeman. I probably wouldn't think of him as like a handsome man. But with man. the voice. But with the voice and his... And the, oh, he's like an eight or nine. Yeah, he's, he's a four yeah. playing in the world of nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's... Morgan is definitely... I mean, just the vibration of his voice oh, alone, like amazing. my butt loosens up a little bit. <laughs> oh, does you know I mean? <laughs> well, not a lot, you know. But oh, would enough. you dabble? To, yeah, would you sleep the, with a man for top, a role? If he whispered in my ear, like you're so white. <laughs> <laughs> and those tights. <types. Yeah. laughs> There's Dennis. The role is yours. There's Dennis uh, Johnson, and that's a good picture of him. That's almost filtered from the '80s, but he had a lot of freckles. Oh, he looks familiar. Actually, well, he used to play some uh, pro ball there. He, he won a couple, couple championships. championships. There he is. So I'd think that, that maybe if I saw a picture of Morgan Freeman without knowing who he was, I'd just think it's We've old We've been able Johnson. to pull up pictures this entire time. Yeah, what do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been Kelsey Monroe. No, I'm kidding. What's no, no, you got a thing? It's, it's a porn star. Don't, don't oh, no, pull it, it up. Don't oh, I'll pull it yeah. We'll take a look at that. Hilarious. Yeah, we, we don't is, uh, care. Kelsey, yeah. what? I don't know this one. Kelsey what? Oh, Monroe? Yeah, M-O-R-N-O-E. Is, that's, it's worse than I can spell it. That's more no. Monroe. Oh, my goodness. Is that uh, her? She's, she's her? great. That's a good page of all of them. There's a, okay. Um, she's fantastic. What, Which one is you, she? What's the demographic of this radio station? Uh, it's pimps. You and, name it and, from, and, uh, from prisoners. Oh, yeah. fantastic! Yeah. No, it's a it's a male based station. Yeah, we're not doing welcome. we're not doing any of that. Yeah, that's a good one. I don't her? know her. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm. Mean, you know what the thing about porn is now is that you get to know them too much. Yeah, you know, like you because I, I liked uh, and I can't remember her name just off. Who's the girl that was dating uh, Logan Paul's buddy? Uh, 
You got a great bio. Oh, um, uh, 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 Lana Rose. Lana Rose. Yeah. And I started to like her a lot. And then and she then, started showing her personality. Yeah, and then lot. I started to know her. I'm yeah. like, I want to get to know you. Now like, I feel bad. Yeah, now I feel like, now, now there's too much. And the other one was the uh, the girl that killed herself. And I liked her a lot, too. Oh, um. <laughs> You're uh, good. Which one? Uh, <laughs> which one I yeah. Bro, a we choice. were inside yeah. for like a year. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I've seen all of the porn at this oh, point. Are you kidding me? I remember her name, but she was perfect. Um, and she killed herself. August 8th. August 8th. Yeah, R.I.P. to the Goat. And just a goat of like for twenty one, she'd accomplish so much, uh, <laughs> and then and then to go that way, it was like when an athlete dies in a car accident or something. It's like just terrible. So much future had so at least three awards. more good years, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hadn't even hit her prime. August yet. Ames was amazing. That's not a good picture, but she yeah. had something a little manly in photos, but in yeah, action. One too. Dude, one, the girl one could time, Lisa, Lisa Ann kissed me on my cheek one time. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, dude, I, I almost had. To- I almost had to tear my cheek off. It was disgusting. <laughs> oh, you didn't it like was, it? It was hot in the moment, but then I was like, oh, my God. I know, I know exactly what's been there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever uh, A lot of a, tube steak. You ever had a porn star? No, nah, I've, I've had the opportunity, but I just I couldn't. You couldn't man. pull the trigger. No, because it's like, dude, Gross. don't get me wrong, I'm doing fine. But it's like I've seen also what's been through there, and it's like yeah. I'm not I'm not about to listen to you lie to me about how how big it is for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> like, oh, it feels so good. Shut I'm not buying up. it. <laughs> I hooked up with one girl who had slept with uh, Tyga. Oh. Who he had his leaked nudes, and the whole time yeah. she was like, oh, it's so bad. I'm like, shut yeah, up. I've like, seen. Who, yeah. who are you trying to convince right now? She's selling me, it too okay? hard. Yeah. It's yeah. not that big. It's all right. Dude, if 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 Hollywood doesn't work out for me, I will be transitioning over to porn. I just Would wanna, you do it? I just want to win all the best actor awards in porn. I just want to be part of the show. <laughs> yeah, nominated, of and then make the walk to the absolutely. I just want to be a fluffer. Yeah, <laughs> mine. I'd probably win most average performance. Yeah, but you've got a sound guy body. <laughs> like you're like you're, you're, you're standing over with the boom mic, <laughs> trying not to yeah. sweat on the actress. Yeah. I, I put actress in quotes. He's got one of those COVID masks, <laughs> <laughs> just in case there's some you know friendly fire. Dude, I oh God, he's got the face shield. <laughs> he's got the face shield oh, on. Yeah. It's called oh, a, it's a salad guard. Oh, God. For you, everything's a salad. <laughs> yeah. I love when I love when you're watching a, 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 the beginning of a porn and like they they they're doing like their the whole like scene act out and they're yeah. like, well, my husband's gonna be home. I'm like, yeah. but these people are really trying to act right they're now. They're buying in. They they were backstage at some point with script in hand, being like. My husband's going to be home soon. No, that's not believable. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's going to be home soon. Right. That's line. 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 <laughs> How about the idea that they probably flub a scene and go, we need to do that again. Oh, yeah. They're like, nah, we're good. Yeah. Like, whatever yeah. you said is fine. It is, no one's going to hear it. It's budget driven. Yeah. I There's no redoing that scene. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. How many times did Eric Roberts like want to redo shots? Never really. He just wants to, it's a porn then. Dude, yeah, dude. It's just shooting so it like a porn. He, uh, let's not say shooting. <laughs> He's shooting say Eric Roberts time. shot you in yeah. a porn. <laughs> what if they're ever in the middle of like a gang band? They're like, I need five. N- yeah, not minutes, five, inches. Yeah. Like somebody somebody normal get in here, please. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, I, guess sometimes, I watched one yesterday because uh, I, I, I stumbled across one of those double penetration things. Poor guy. And I, no, no, poor guy. It was a girl. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, I feel God. bad for the guys too because there's a whole uh, uh, pee pee pendulum kind of. I don't yeah. know what's going on there. I don't, like, I, don't, I, I don't know how thin the difference is. Yeah, in there. but I, the girls like when and then then was just one back in there. She's like, oh, I'm like, no, no, no. I just saw you with two. <laughs> this is a disappointment. You had two Ferraris. Now you've got one. Your day is no longer as good as it was. Dude, I watched my first gay porn by accident a couple mm-hmm. months ago. And you keep telling yourself pu- purely by accident. <laughs> I was watching porn on, on Twitter. Which not a lot of people know you can do. You Dude, can. Oh my really? god! Oh, I have oh no idea. some of the best what? stuff ever. No is kidding. On. It's a lot more like amateur stuff Homemade on there, amateur. I suppose. Okay. Which I, I I think the pandemic desensitized me to porn. <laughs> like now I'm like, this is a production. Like what is a SAG ultra low budget? Like now, but so now I like more yeah. like real stuff. Get to the stuff. chorus. Yeah. That's so, what you want to do. Yeah. Exactly. Bad lighting and some anal acne. Yes, I want to see a dirty room behind you. Like you really <laughs> right. live there, you know. <laughs> I was scrolling on Twitter, and this page was uh, – it was kind of, I guess, inclusive. I oh. guess like it would have like one gay video per like 20 straight videos. Gotcha. So I was like, it's a pretty safe ratio. I'll just I'll keep scrolling. Right. And I scrolled once big time, and then it, it slowed down, and it landed on this like gay gangbang video. And this was the first time in my life that I, I knew for sure I wasn't gay. <laughs> because first time. The, this is the first time it's ever been <laughs> yeah. clarified. Like oh, never gotcha. even – like a for sure clarification 
because not was I not turned on, but it was like it was five big dudes yeah. on one little dude. Was it in a red couch? It, it was on a black couch <laughs> okay, in a never mind. studio. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, god. This looked familiar. Well, there was no little dude in Let's here. Let's go to break. <laughs> we gotta go, Matt. It's been nice talking. <laughs> <laughs> talking. Let's stay live. The yeah. people need to hear this. We, uh, I do. I, I was not only was I not turned on, but like my first instinct is I wanted to like yell. Somebody help him. Like, I just felt like there was nothing sexual about it to me at all. I was like, they're bullying this boy right now. Like, I felt so bad. I just wanted to step in and be like, hey, d- dick on somebody your own size. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. You have to, if it's going to be a weightlifting thing, yeah. that's the one I saw was like five weightlifters. Oh. Just in this red couch. And the next thing you know, they're, they're just, it's Soul Train. And it was just oh. horrible. And I Poor girl. barely finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was so hard for me. When I was at that towel and I'm just cleaning off going, I got to get better habits. I, <laughs> I got to have new hobbies. This is not sure yet. I'm not sure. Uh, Matt's at Stand Up Live tonight and tomorrow. Matt, uh, Rife, leave us with words of wisdom, sir. Oh, man. Uh, I'm 26. Don't listen to anything I say. Just That's wise. Come to the show. Uh, I've got a new hour special out on YouTube right now that I just released a couple of weeks ago. Called Mayonnaise. Uh, called Matt Wright so- OnlyFans. So oh, close enough. nice. Close enough. Go. It's Are on YouTube. Are you doing YouTube. that? OnlyFans? Yeah. I'm pretty close. If we don't sell out tonight, I might have to. <laughs> yeah, I've, got, uh, I've, I've got bills to pay. So please come Perfect. so I don't have to sell my body. Awesome. Two shows uh, tonight, two shows tomorrow. Please come by. Yeah, there you go. Matt Reif, thanks. Nice to meet you, man. Likewise, man. Thanks Good for luck having to me, guys. Matt Reif, everybody. It's 98. <laughs> the best the world has to offer in music, drama, and comedy. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com.